Hey, uh, what's up everybody? So uh, this is Russ with RWG Research and uh, today is the 25th of October. Um, so I got some pretty cool news to share with you, but this video is about the Rustic um, Frequency Generator. I got some pretty cool stuff to share with you. So um, that's what I'm going to do right now and then more later, uh, more later videos there will be, yeah. Anyway, uh, so yeah, um, I'm going to get started. So uh, the Rustic Frequency Generator, you guys saw me post that online. Um, a good month ago, and uh, it's a pretty cool deal. I didn't get the output circuit finished, and um, mm, yeah. So uh, the uh, I posted it online, and I decided to just shoot it out there and let you guys uh, work on it. So a man by the name of Kevin Williamson decided to work on it. A good buddy of mine. Uh, he's up in Canada, and uh, he did some fantastic work, and basically finished the circuit and also etched a board for me. Um, he laid it out and etched it and he built his own and then I uh, uh, he offered to etch me one. I kinda asked but he uh, agreed and so I have that board. He was so kind he even sent me most of the components like 95 percent of them. Um, so that's what I want to show you. Um, so here's the circuit board and uh, as you can see here uh, Russell Grease, or sorry, Russ Grease, and Kevin Williamson. Uh, and you can see here rwgresearch.com, opensourceenergy.org. That's where you need to go if you guys want to find out uh, more about this. But uh, yeah, there's the circuit, and um, he just did a wonderful job. And I must say, uh, Kevin, you are much better at drilling holes than I am in these printed circuit boards. Um, mine are kind of sloppy. Yours looks fantastic. Uh, and by the way, Kevin actually created a uh, little jig um, to basically hold a drill. Uh, it was literally like a bent piece of metal, and he just used the drill that way. Uh, it seemed to work great. So look on the forums for how he did that if you guys want to, you know, learn how to uh, make your own little jig drill. Here are some of the components, resistors, capacitors, a few other things. There's the IC chips. Um, I'm going to actually put um, the 14-pin uh, adapters on here so I can just plug in the chips in case I fry some because it'll probably happen. Um, there's not much protection in this circuit because of the uh, transients and the VIC is going to probably kind of slowly degrade stuff. So I want to be able to plug and play on uh, most of my components. And then a few diodes and a, uh, what is that, IRFP. See if this camera will focus in. IRFP 264. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you guys that. That is fantastic. He did uh, just an amazing job. Um, he actually learned to use photo paper as the um, uh, way to transfer the toner from the uh, laser printer. So if you guys don't know how to do that stuff, um, I did post a video a while back of building my power supply. And I showed how I etched the circuit boards. He did the same manner, except he used a different paper. He used like photograph paper. It worked really well. It transferred real well. So uh, this is on a new camera uh, that was donated to me. And um, I'm very blessed to have it. And I just want to say thank you extremely very much. Uh, there's some uh, other news i got to tell you in the next video. But you probably won't even see this video until Thursday or Friday this week. I'm recording it now. But you probably won't see it till later. So yeah, uh, this is Russ with rwgresearch.com. And uh, blessings to everyone. Peace. Have a good night. And uh, leave me a comment. See ya.